enthusiastic welcome isn't the greeting most Greek politicians receive these days. But Panos Kamenos is an exception. His party, Independent Greeks, has touched a nerve among voters who feel they've been sold out in the financial crisis. Away from Athens, like here in Tripoli in the Peloponnese Peninsula, Kamenos is treated as a serious candidate. Local media give full coverage to the party leader whose campaign has been highly critical of the country's political establishment. We're a new popular movement. People are listening to us instead of the guys who sold their souls to the banks. Those responsible for the austerity measures in Greece don't dare show their face on the streets anymore. Kamenos has held a seat in parliament for 19 years, until recently as a member of the conservative New Democracy Party. Today, his former colleagues are his biggest political enemies. The split came after parliament passed the latest austerity package in February, imposing new taxes and further cuts. Panos Kamenos has seized the moment. He set up his own party right when the conservatives, who were part of the previous government, were threatening to split apart over the austerity measures. Observers agree that Greece's established political parties face the biggest crisis in their history. Recent polls show that conservatives and socialists together couldn't capture a third of the vote. That leaves a huge vacuum for protest parties. The campaign has been all about whether the previous austerity policies will continue or not. The parties that are against the strict reforms don't have any ideas to get Greece out of the crisis. They're just appealing to popular anger. Kamenos has tapped Greeks' widespread dissatisfaction. The 48-year-old has been touring the country by bus, hammering home his message of why the debt deal is unacceptable. The borrowed money has to be paid back, but at fair market interest rates. It's not right that the European Central Bank lends German banks money for 1% interest and our Greek banks have to pay 7% interest. Kamenos has been slamming German policies in his campaign and claims that Berlin is trying to humiliate his country. There's no Third Reich anymore, but what we're seeing now is the Fourth German Economic Empire. Herr Schäuble doesn't treat European countries like an ordinary finance minister. Here in Greece, he acts just like they did through the occupation during the Second World War. Kamenos' rhetoric has reopened a painful chapter in the country's past. Many older Greeks believe Germany has not fully atoned for atrocities they committed during the war. The day after founding his party, Kamenos visited the village of Distomo in central Greece. Here, in 1944, Nazi troops shot dead 218 villagers in an act of retribution. The Nazis murdered in Greece and didn't spare children either. They burned villages to the ground, stole gold from the National Bank, and then demanded loans to pay for the occupation. We were never compensated for any of that. Seventy years later, Germany's wartime atrocities in Greece remain a sensitive subject. But not everyone thinks it should be a campaign issue. Hagen Fleischer is a professor of history at Athens University. He says the issue is long overdue for public debate, but is critical of politicians who are exploiting it for personal gain. These are sins of the past, a dark past. During the Cold War, it was just assumed the matter had been dealt with. The Greek left had strong ties to communist East Germany and the Greek government had good relations with West Germany. And the Greeks themselves tended to feel a stronger alliance with like-minded Germans than they did with Greeks on the other side of the political divide. Few Greeks think now is the time to demand reparations for Nazi atrocities. But many of the voters Kamenos is trying to reach are critical of the German government. The Germans? They're just out for their own interests. The Germans aren't going to help us and neither will anyone else. We shouldn't get our hopes up. We need to help ourselves.
Still, populists like Kamenos carry on painting a picture of Greece as the victim of a conspiracy. I hope still that I'm still hopeful that undecided voters will come to their senses and reject this dangerous radicalism. I hope they'll put aside their frustration with the previous government and cast a vote for the moderates. But Panos Kamenos is sticking to his message. He knows there are plenty of voters who want their leaders to take a tougher stance.